Governments around the world go to great lengths to protect their biggest secrets. We can only speculate what they may be, but at least we know where they're kept. Here are the top 15 most mysterious military installations. Number 15. Sino Rai North Korea is easily one of the world's most secretive countries, so it shouldn't come as a surprise that they're pretty tight-lipped about the locations of their military bases as well. However, in the past few years, multiple reports have been made exposing the existence of Sino Rai. That's because this base is said to be the location where dangerous weapons such as the Scud missile and the Nondong medium-range ballistic missiles were developed. With this being in spite of the fact that North Korea has never officially recognized the facility. What further adds to the mystique surrounding the facility is that it's located underground, with satellite imagery suggesting that it's likely a massive complex that contains everything from storage facilities to a military academy. As such, Sino Rai is in all likelihood one of North Korea's most important military bases. Number 14. Fort George G. Meade the National Security Agency, or NSA, is one of America's most secretive organizations. After all, they are the arm of the U.S. Armed Forces that's tasked with collecting data from around the globe, with that data often being collected via high-tech surveillance and code-breaking missions. As such, the NSA's headquarters at Fort George Meade has been subject to a lot of mystery. After all, the building is imposing in and of itself, and it's not only massive, but also features blacked-out windows and intense security checks. And while Edward Snowden was able to expose a fair amount of the information within Fort Meade's walls, the chances of anyone else ever doing the same are pretty slim. Number 13. Raven Rock Mountain Complex While the majority of the world's population would be toast in the wake of a nuclear war, the same cannot be said for the President of the United States and his fellow senior officials. That's because they have a facility known as the Raven Rock Mountain Complex, to stay in if the situation above ground really does get messy. Located high up in the mountains in Blue Ridge Summit, Pennsylvania, it's often called the Underground Pentagon due to its extremely secure interior and was built during the Cold War due to the threat of an all-out nuclear war. And while this never came to fruition, it still exists as one of several bunkers in the U.S. military system, and thus is possible place where the President of the United States could be evacuated to in case of a disaster. However, given that the U.S. government tends to not divulge a lot of information regarding its nuclear shelters, it's anyone's guess to whether or not they would actually make use of it during a real catastrophe. Number 12. The Chinese People's Liberation Army Support Base in Djibouti While this base's name may be a mouthful, its presence is emblematic of a global shift towards increased Chinese domination. That's because it's located in Djibouti which is a small African nation located on the northeastern coast of Africa. Now, China has historically had not much of a stake in Africa. However, in recent years, they've been pouring more and more investment into the region as part of their infamous Belt and Road Initiative. As such, despite Djibouti being tiny in terms of size, they chose to construct a base there at a cost of about $590 million in 2017. And while the base's area of just half a square kilometer makes it rather small in size, it nonetheless has a very significant strategic value. That's because while China is rather secretive as to what goes on inside of it, it undoubtedly is being used to plant China's foothold in Africa, with its presence also having a potential to endanger shipping across the Suez Canal. On our end, we just hope that despite its secrecy, nothing seriously sinister is being planned at this base. Number 11. Area 6 While Area 51 may get a lot more hype, Area 6, which is located just 19 kilometers northeast of it, is just as strange. Perhaps the first odd thing that is apparent about Area 6 is its shape, as it compromises a small building set beside a massive landing strip and a strange circular shape etched out in the sand. And while the U.S. government's public briefs on the fort have been all but non-existent, what has been leaked is that Area 6 is a prime testing ground for the construction, operation, and test of a variety of unmanned aerial vehicles, with these including everything from spy drones to remotely piloted planes. However, it shouldn't come as a surprise that both the base and the projects housed within it will likely remain a secret for the foreseeable future. Number 10. Diego Garcia while many military bases tend to be in remote locations, none go quite as far as Diego Garcia. That's because this U.S. military base is, in fact, a tiny English island located in the middle of the Indian Ocean, with it being part of the chain of atolls known as the Chagos Islands. Now, this horseshoe-shaped island in and of itself is very secretive, 
It doesn't allow any tourists or journalists to visit it. However, what we do know is that it's a vital point of attack for U.S. forces. Chosen thanks to its deep harbor and relative proximity to the Asian continent, it was supposedly a launching pad for many of the United States' military operations in the Middle East, and is rumored to even house prisoners and suspected terrorists. Yet given that the island's access is restricted to the U.S. and English military personnel that are stationed there, its true purpose will likely continue to be shrouded in mystery. Number 9. Yulin Naval Base Control of the South China Sea is easily one of China's largest strategic objectives, and the Yulin Naval Base is probably China's most valuable tool in achieving this end. That's because it's not only strategically located at the mouth of the water body, but also has some of the best geographical defenses on the planet, as the 25 square kilometer base not only features a protected harbor, but also a mountain range to encapsulate it on all sides. It's for this reason that it has essentially become the premier storage facility for all of China's most advanced weaponry, with these including everything from its nuclear-powered submarines to its most powerful battleships. To top this off, it's able to keep these out of sight thanks to the fact that it mainly exists underground, which ensures that all this top-secret tech remains hidden from the prying eyes of China's enemies. As such, as the tensions surrounding the South China Sea continue to heat up, we wouldn't be surprised if the Yulin naval base continues to grow in significance. We are constantly adding more people to the Top 5's production team to bring you all the best content. Be sure to subscribe with notifications on and hit the like button. Number 8. Mount Yamantau Mountains tend to be a pretty good place to hide out in, as their tough terrain, large size, and remote location often sets them apart from the average civilian. Yet, out of all the mountains out there, Mount Yamantau takes the cake for being one of the most secretive mountain hideouts of them all. And while information surrounding the area is pretty shaky, what we do know is that the Russian government poured in an astronomical amount of resources to create a large army base there in the 1990s. Yet, top Russian military officials have tried to claim that it was anything but as they have continuously touted a number of conflicting stories about it, being everything from a mining and ore processing complex to an underground food and clothing warehouse. Regardless, despite any mystique surrounding it, we doubt the Russian government will ever admit to what is truly going on up at Mount Yamantau. Number 7. Thule Air Base While the Arctic may have been largely ignored over the past century, it has become increasingly important in recent years as melting ice has made the area a prime location for shipping and global trade. As such, Thule Air Base, which is in the United States' most northerly military installation, seems to be in the right place at the right time, and as a result, the country has poured an increasing amount of resources into it. In particular, this is in response to increased Russian activity in the Arctic Circle, as Thule Air Base is considered to be key to the United States' ability to detect impending nuclear attacks. Yet despite its strategic advantages, both living at and maintaining the base has proved to be a challenge, as it's known to reach temperatures of negative 44 degrees Celsius, receive winds of upwards of 185 kilometers an hour, and is nearly inaccessible for many months of the year. Regardless, we expect that the U.S. military will continue to place a heavier focus on it in the next few years. Number 6. Fort Detrick When it comes to military research labs, few are as infamous as Fort Detrick. Opened in Maryland in 1931, it gained infamy for being the site of multiple disastrous medical experiments throughout the 1940s, 50s, and 60s. Most notably, it hosted a number of mind control experiments, with some of them being absolutely gut-wrenching. For example, it was at Fort Detrick that several African-American inmates were subjected to double, triple, and quadruple doses of LSD for 77 days straight, with this being done in order to see if their minds could be exploited in such a state. It was also the place of production for a number of controversial biological weapons, as 5,000 bombs containing anthrax spores were produced at the base during World War II. Yet to top this off, it was even the site of experiments testing the viability of spreading deadly diseases via fleas, ticks, ants, lice, and mosquitoes in order to cause widespread devastation to America's enemies. And while Fort Detrick's facilities are supposedly now used to research toxins, antitoxins, and cures for diseases, it really is impossible to know what happens there behind closed doors. Number 5. Area 51 Of all the entries on this list, none are quite as famous as Area 51. After all, it has been the subject of countless conspiracy theories over the years, with many believing that it's perhaps the site of some real-life aliens. 
Now, these theories first began in the 50s, when the United States government began using the Nevada-based compound to test out some of its newest aircraft. Thus, due to both Area 51 and the surrounding testing area it encompasses being about the size of Connecticut, testers had a lot of land to work with when testing these new bombers and jet fighters. And it was while these strange planes were flying that people began to get suspicious. After all, the aircraft often had very weird shapes and looked a lot like a UFO might. Therefore, rather than just tell people that the aircraft were not UFOs, the US government supposedly played along with these suspicions in order to distract from the real purpose of the base. What is this real purpose, though, you may ask? Well, unfortunately for us, this is classified information. However, what does seem to be apparent is that the base is still in use, and that while it most likely served primarily as an air base throughout the Cold War, its use today is a lot more secretive. Also, as an interesting side note, Area 51 is one of the few entries on this list that were almost invaded by civilians. In July of 2019, more than 2 million people responded to a Facebook post asking people to storm Area 51. And while the whole thing was supposed to be a joke, the United States Air Force took it a little more seriously, with Air Force spokeswoman Laura McAndrews warning the public that, quote, the U.S. Air Force always stands ready to protect America and its assets, end quote. However, due to the fact that almost no one actually took this seriously, only about 1,500 to 3,000 people actually ended up showing up to rural Nevada. With only a handful of actually making the foolish mistake of trying to enter the compound. As such, the security threat of this event ended up being a lot less serious than it could have been. Number 4. Kapustin Yar While Area 51 may be the most controversial military base in the United States, Kasputin Yar is by all accounts its Russian equivalent. That's because after being built in the 1940s and becoming fully operational by about 1947, it was essentially ground zero for many of the Soviet Union's most coveted and dangerous missiles and space-related tests. Now, it's located approximately 100 kilometers east of modern-day Volgograd. And while many specifics about it are unclear, if U.S. intelligence reports from the year 1960 are to be believed, it stretches for an area of about 3,600 square kilometers. When it was first founded, it was largely used in order to test improved versions of the German V-2 rockets from the Second World War. And by the 1950s, it was being used as a launch facility for the Soviet Union's space program. And while not every launch from the site is on the public record, it was clear that by 1960, the Soviet Union had launched Laika the dog into space from Kasputin Yar, making this site especially significant due to the fact that Laika was the first ever living being to orbit our planet. Nowadays, the base is still shrouded in mystery. However, what is clear is that it's still being used to some capacity. Yet what's not so clear are some of the specifics surrounding the base's controversies. You see, just like Area 51 in the United States, Kasputin Yar has been rumored to house UFOs. That's because if the accounts of former employees are to be believed, the site is likely home to a collection of storage units to hold alien spacecraft and labs for conducting alien autopsies. This has been further supported by the fact that the photos taken by U.S. spycraft decades ago indicated that there were bizarre geometric patterns and highly sophisticated radar facilities on site, thus making many believe that it was ground zero for Russia's supposed alien encounters. However, because the actual facility is located about 400 meters beneath the surface of the Earth, we may never know for sure what the base truly holds within its depths. Number 3. Porton Down While England's Wiltshire country may be home to the mysterious site of Stonehenge, the nearby base of Porton Down certainly gives it a run for its money. That's because it's perhaps even more mysterious than its ancient neighbor, and it's been the site of secret British military operations for over a century. That was first built all the way back in 1916, where it functioned as the Royal Engineers Experimental Station. Its primary purpose at the time was to test chemical weapons, with this largely being in response to German use of mustard gas in the trenches. From there, the British continued to use the site to test chemical and biochemical weapons, with the site also being expanded to encompass a variety of other purposes, such as chemical defense and the study of viruses. As a result of these developments, it's now the site of both the Ministry of Defense's Defense Science and Technology Laboratory and Public Health England's virus research facilities. Now, while all of this may make Port and Down seem pretty innocuous today, this certainly isn't the case. That's because the site has been the source of continued controversy, with this particularly true with both its chemical weapons and disease testing. This is largely due to the fact that it's infamous for its use of human test subjects with many of those who've entered for experiments either having severe health complications or not making it back out alive. 
After all, be it dripping liquid nerve gas on the bare arms of 440 men, or exposing the genitals of six men to mustard gas for five consecutive days, the results of these tests, which are mainly done on military veterans, really were brutal. And while the center mainly uses animals for its tests nowadays, the fact that it stores some of the world's deadliest diseases still makes it a source of extreme controversy. Number 2. Pine Gap While Pine Gap may look a little silly when viewed from the sky, it's easily one of the most vital bases for both Australia and the United States. That's because the base, which is located smack dab in the middle of the Australian outback, is controlled via a mutual agreement by the two countries and is very secretive in more ways than one. Perhaps the first strange thing about the facility is its actual layout, which consists not only of a massive complex of buildings, but also of 38 radar dishes, or radomes, that are concealed underneath golf ball-like shells. As per the info from the Edward Snowden leak, these high-powered satellites' primary purpose is to collect data from all around the world and to use it for both intelligence and military purposes. In all likelihood, it's this detecting capability that allows Pine Gap to pinpoint the locations of airstrikes, nuclear weapons, and other military and intelligence hubs. Now, in the past, the base was largely used for missile detection, with this being its primary use right through the Cold War. However, as the world began to become more advanced, it took on a stronger role as the Geolocational Direction Center, with the site reportedly having the ability to listen in on practically any phone call in any area of the world. It has also been a command post for a number of satellite-related missions, with the most notable being the integration of six spy satellites that have the capabilities to span the globe. Yet perhaps the most mysterious of all, it has supposedly played a large role in U.S. drone strikes, with the site having the capability to locate terrorists and alert U.S. Air Force of their coordinates. As such, Pine Gap has become absolutely essential to maintaining America's stranglehold on global security. Number 1. The South China Sea Bases In recent decades, China has become a true superpower on the global stage, and this has led to the country actively asserting its military and economic dominance around the world. However, there is no place where this is more apparent than in the South China Sea. That's because the area is one of the most contested bodies of water in the entire world, with a total of five countries laying claim to large swaths of it. Yet while many in the region are relatively incapable of asserting their naval dominance, China has gone ahead and created a number of bases in the sea itself. These bases are located on the Spratly and Paracel Islands, which are pretty small and insignificant, until the Chinese government made the decision to drain and clear much of the seawater in the area, so that about 13 square kilometers of land could be used for the building of military bases. Unsurprisingly, these bases have become extremely controversial, with the main concern being what exactly China plans to do with them. Now, on a basic level, it seems like they may just be a tool in helping China control all the shipping routes in the South China Sea, as their presence on the islands helped them assert their claim that they control almost the entirety of the body of water. It's also widely believed that China has a strong interest in exploiting the South China Sea fish and oil deposits, both of which could make the country exorbitant sums of money. However, what is perhaps the most worrying potential use for the South China Sea bases are as weapon launch pads with their location possibly being ideal to not only strike Oceania and the United States, but also to perhaps be the site of China's proposed underwater military base. As a result, the South China Sea bases may cause some serious geopolitical conflicts in the coming decades. Watch our obscure playlist for more top 15 videos about the more obscure subjects in our world. Sit back, relax, and binge watch all of our best and most obscure videos.